Hello and good day to all of you. So in this video lecture, we are going to look at how we can prove that the earth is rotating. So obviously, uh, we have some experiment based on the previous scientists. So we are going to explain the first two experiments, which is one is related to the hooks. And the second one is focal pendulum, so which is the most popular experiment, which proves the earth rotations. So so the first experiment, which is actually the experiment of the earth rotation, it was it was done by the Hooks, which was unsuccessful, but actually he did it in 1679 and by the suggestion of the Newtons. And he tried to calculate the half millimeter eastward deviation of a body, which is dropped from the 8.5, 8.2 meters long or the tall so when he wanted to throw a stone from 8.2 meter so it should be deflect toward east half millimeter but obviously at that time it was not quite easy to observe this accuracy so he was unsuccessful to perform this one but later on in 18th century or in early 19th century so which was done by Batista in Bologna and actually he observed this drop of a body from a tall building in Hamburg and he used a taller tower and carefully released the weight so when he released the weight from the tall towers from this point so you can see this can be deflect toward east about half a millimeter from this tower so when he's throwing on this body supposedly it should come here but if you can see this red dotted line so when he throw it here so it's actually observed at here so it's reflecting toward east because of the earth rotation so this is one of the proof which was actually shows that the earth is rotating obviously there is some other factors like the resistance of the air which was neglected during that time and the second experiment which is the focal pendulum so this is the most celebrated taste test of the earth rotation in the focal pendulum it was built by the physicist leon focal in 1851 and which was consisted of an iron sphere suspended 67 meter from the top of pantheon in paris so this is actually the pantheon building and this was the focal pendulum and which, which which was hanging from a wire or the rope about 67 meter from the top and it can be observed how the pendulum moves. so because of the earth rotation under the swing pendulum the pendulum plan of the oscillation appears to rotate at a rate depending on the latitude so obviously the rotation of the earth is not constant everywhere so every latitude has a different measurement of the earth rotation so let's say if you're talking about the paris which is this place and the rate of the change is 11 degrees clockwise per hour but if we move to the equator so we will observe more so this is one video which I'm going to show. Uh, it is an experiment which was done about 32 hours video and he compressed it into 8 sec. Uh, he compressed it to 460 time fast, 480 time fast and every 8 second he observed because it takes 8, 8 seconds to come to the correct position. And obviously if we go toward the equators, the pendulum day will be long. So let's start this video and observe here, then we can discuss about this video. This video is sponsored by Brilliant.org. This is a really big pendulum. And, and unlike, unlike the pendulum, pendulum in a, in a clock, clock, this Foucault, Foucault pendulum, pendulum at the University of Puget Sound is free to swing in, in any direction. direction. It takes about eight seconds for it to go from there over to here and back. 
but that's not the motion that I want to show you. Now, this is not an interactive exhibit, but I have special permission. The motion I want to show you is too slow for you to see, so I'm going to speed things up in this video about 480 times so that you only see the pendulum when it's at this point in its swing here. And doing that will compress the next 32 hours into four minutes of video. We're going to try science. Played back at this speed, the pendulum appears to move around the room, but that doesn't really grasp what's really happening, because the ground is what's moving. It's rotating. You are watching the world turn. Let me explain. The pendulum ticks back and forth due to the law of inertia, which states that an object in motion stays in motion unless something acts on it. So the pendulum continues to swing along this plane of motion, and from its point of view, it's just swinging back and forth along that same plane. From the pendulum's point of view, the ground is what's moving. Now, while that's incredible if you ask me, it can also be hard to grasp. So I want you to picture this. A Foucault pendulum placed at the North Pole would appear to complete a clockwise circle once every 24 hours, as the Earth completes a day by rotating beneath it. But that isn't always the case, because at the poles, the relative rotation between a pendulum and the Earth's axis is at its maximum, so the closer you move a pendulum towards the equator, the longer it takes for a so-called pendulum day to take place. That's the amount of time it takes for a Foucault pendulum to move around the room, as it were. Here at the University of Puget Sound, a pendulum day is about 32.3 hours long. Now the reason it isn't 24 hours here is because the Earth is a sphere. So the closer you put a pendulum to the equator, the further it is from the Earth's axis and the greater the difference in angle between the Earth's axis and the plane that the pendulum is on. The greater that difference is, the less relative rotation there is between the pendulum and the Earth. So it takes at least 24 hours to see one pendulum day, and potentially much longer. You can actually figure out your latitude just by watching and timing a pendulum as it moves in this way, but of course, there's easier ways to do that. It's now 5.30 in the morning, but I'm awake and ready to get back at it. At the equator, a pendulum day lasts forever, and that's because at that location, a pendulum is perpendicular to the axis of rotation. The planet and the pendulum's plane are not moving in relation to one another. Here in the northern hemisphere, Foucault pendulums rotate clockwise because of the Earth's rotation. And that rotation also causes sundial shadows to move clockwise. I mean, it's probably where we got the term clockwise in the first place. If we put a pendulum at the South Pole, it goes counterclockwise, but again, it takes 24 hours. We talk about the sun rising and setting, but that only appears to happen because of Earth's rotation, and up until this experiment was done, we could only assume that the Earth was spinning due to our observations of the sun, of the moon, and of the stars. But no one had figured out how to do an experiment to actually test that until 1851, when a physicist named Leon Foucault came up with this. And that provided the very first simple proof that the Earth rotates. He did all of that using nothing but a pendulum. And if you ask me, that is pretty remarkable. And that is a pendulum day. Now, it's worth noting that most Foucault pendulums on display, like this one, have an electromagnet at the top. But that's just to keep them going forever. You could just use a normal pendulum to do this experiment and get the same results. It just wouldn't last as long. And maybe that's a good thing, because this took me a long time. In this video, you have observed that how this pendulum, pendulum move around the room i mean you have to look at these um, around the around the whole room so it started from here this motion then it's moving here 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 and all the way to this point so it takes like 32 hours for at this specific latitude but if we move to another latitude so obviously it will be keep changing so that is actually the second proof which makes 
possible that the earth rotation earth is rotating so otherwise if earth is not rotating then the pendulum will not be keep moving in the other directions and so we have done this two experiment or learn two experiment the first one is falling of the object from the tall building and the second one is the focal pendulum so these two proves that the earth is rotating okay that's all thank you so much and i hope you have learned this topic thank you so much and have a good day